During the excavations in the area of the Magdalena River, archaeologists have discovered gold figurines of the pre-Columbian era. The size of the cast metal artifacts ranged from 5 to 7.5 cm and they were decorated with various ornaments. As archaeologists have found, the miniature airplanes were used as amulets. Some scientists considered them to be pendants in the form of flying fish. But not all of them think that they were made for decoration purpose. Some believe that they were actually a replica of spacecraft that existed at the time. The tail of the gold figurines resembles parts of modern space shuttles and have a clear division into cockpit, aircraft cabin and elements of aviation system. At the end of the 20th century, aircraft modeling enthusiasts from Germany made exact copies of golden airplanes but they enlarged it several times. They tried out radio control models with a jet engine and a propeller in action. The results exceeded all expectations of skeptics. The tests were carried out in the presence of many spectators who observed the aerobatic maneuvers of planes enjoying the breathtaking spectacle. So after the test, this 2000-year-old model did prove to be aerodynamic. Now the main question here is that how these ancient people actually managed to create a model of a flying device 2000 years ago that proved to be capable of flight today. Do they really possess the knowledge of making a flying saucer? Or these figurines could have been a depiction of what they saw, maybe an alien spacecraft. Do let us know what do you think about this and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.